Alrighty guys, how's it going? I decided just to get it started today. Start with the wheels. Haven't washed this car in quite a bit. So it's gonna be pretty dirty. But uh, yeah, today I just kinda wanna take it slow and really, really enjoy the process. Um, I'm, kinda, I'm kinda frustrated right now. Um, and it's funny though because I'm, I'm frustrated about nonsense um, not, nothing nothing important um, really nothing important it just I think I'm I'm frustrated about the fact that uh, you know uh, some of the things that I want in life are still not a thousand percent there um, like uh, I don't know I don't know how to explain it um, you know sometimes I feel like I go out for, for a jog and and I do exercise and you know there's days that I wake up feeling like good about myself and there's days that I'm like damn like what the hell did I just run for, you know 10 miles these last three days for um, if I don't know how to control my my eating it really comes down to that so I think right now I'm frustrated about that um, frustrated about other stuff um, like I want a new car already not not to get rid of this one, but like I'll give you guys an example as to why um, I may be feeling the way I'm feeling. It's because um, you know I did brake pads today. That went well. Uh, and so I said that one of my brake lines are. It's um. It's leaking a little bit. It's not rip rip, but it's leaking a little bit. So I'm gonna be ordering them soon. And I know that's how cars are, but. You know, it went from there, and then the OEM window visors, um, since they were cracked a while back, um, I tried kind of gluing them back together, and that didn't work. And, um, well, that means that, I don't know. I'm sure it, 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 everything can be fixed. I just, you know, I tried the different glues, and, and then I did a trick. So, um, it is what it is, man. Gotta gotta go back and, and find a, a better glue to be able to fix those window visors that's what I mean by nonsense it's it really nonsense you know the braided line the window visors and then um, the window the, the front window trims I've, I've gotten like two different sets from the yoke yard but I can't find a brand new and um, I gotta start looking into where can I find them. Um, where I can find certain pieces. Um, and I think the addition of all those two stupid little things, or three, whatever, it kind of just, uh, it adds up and it's really stupid. Um, you know, um, yeah, would I love a brand new car right now? Yeah, it's always in the back of my head and, you know, it goes back to what I, what I was telling you guys, you know, um, it's like constantly staring at Instagram. And, um, and don't get me wrong, I, I love driving this car. It's just sometimes when you start having issues with it, left and right, shit gets old, you know, and that's what I mentioned before, like, I don't mind a 90s car but it does bug, bug me like sometimes having to deal with 90s problems. But, I don't know. You know, I, I see, uh, I don't know, I don't know if people are truly happy, at least portraying, you know, like they're really, really happy or buying things left and right or picking up parts left and right, but maybe I'm just, I'm paying too much attention to other people. I think that's what it is. So how do you guys, when you guys are kind of like uh, frustrated, what's your go-to place for you? For me, man, like, um, you know, I love just focusing on me. My wife let me do that this whole entire day, so there's absolutely no reason why I should be feeling pissed off or anything, you know? But, um, you know how it goes. It's always a good time to bitch and complain. And, and that's when you realize, like, if that's what I'm bitching about, have a good life. 
have an amazing life because I'm not going through any issues right now. I'm not going through any problems. But um, I think it's a uh, one of those things. Like the more, the more, the more you have it, the more you want it. The better you have it, the more you want it. Better. Or I guess um, not necessarily that. The more that you want it, better. I think more like you start you start um taking things for granted like maybe you know i'm bitching complaining about my my 90s car but there's somebody out there with you know can't even have a 90s car he's like man fucking gus is driving he's a cord everywhere and i'm here not being able to for x y or c reason and here i am driving my 90s accord which honestly looks badass <laughs> and feeling like ah, i want a new car it's like stupid shit man so Everything we have control. Everything. It's like having to remind myself like you have control over your actions, you have control over your attitude, you have control of the way you want to react to things. You have control over your freaking damn mouth. Stop eating. So yeah, it's just me bitching and complaining for no particular reason. So I do apologize for starting off the video like that. Now I'm feeling a lot better. So it's just, you know, it, it, it's funny. Like um, talking about it and cleaning really does go a long, long way. Cause now I feel much, much, much better. Um, but yeah, um, I think I try to maintain positivity uh, 90 90 percent of the time but I also want to be transparent with you guys and and if you're feeling like you know things are not going right or you know you're trying to fix something and it's just not working properly and um, you know and I remind you that we're, we all have those struggles you're not the only one um, not diminishing them and, my, uh, and you know what um, I'm going to be honest with you guys, you guys actually might have real issues that I'm like, damn, you guys actually do have something to be worried about or complain, like, you know, losing your job and family members who are sick, things like that, instead of material stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah. I'm going to start uh, getting some of my cleaning stuff together in the room, things like that. It helps when I see things clean. I don't know. Maybe that's why. I have a mess everywhere. I have a mess in the trunk of this car. I have a mess in my patio. I have a mess everywhere. So I'm like, you know what? I have a mess inside the car and, and outside. Let's start with the outside of the car. Today I'm just gonna do a little, quick little wipe down of the interior because that's just disgusting. I've been wanting to do a video. Part of the reason why I wasn't wiping the car down. But uh, some other stuff with, with the carpet. I'm still debating if I'm gonna run that carpet, that gray one. It's in really poor condition. And even after cleaning, I'm not really happy with it. So I'm even considering taking out the seat, spraying this one. Uh, taking it out and spraying the, this carpet black again, doing it a little bit better. And then um, finding some gray carpets, floor mats, I mean, and then running that way. I think I might go with that. All right, so today the, the, the sprayer is actually working a little bit better. So I'm actually happy about that. So let's start. Um, let's start doing the outside. Like I said, I'm gonna take my time today. I'm not gonna be rushing, and I'm gonna try to use as much soap as I can. Make sure that the car. Let me put on my. Put on my little rinser, and then voiceover starts now. Well, yep. It's different when you have to listen to yourself after uh, the fact, right? Uh, first and foremost, thank you guys for uh, tuning in. Thank you for making some time away from some of this stuff. Or if you just have me in the background, um, I don't know, as you guys do your some of your chores. Um, you know, I, I, I don't like to come out as negative in, in any videos, but... I think it's important for some of us to understand that 
ultimately we're human beings and there's days that we, we just feel some type of way. Um, but that shouldn't be uh, something that be that should be constantly uh, shown or or that should be our, our mentality for for the long run. So obviously um, there's been a couple of days after I washed the car, I'm, I'm feeling much better. Um, but it's, it's a never ending battle, especially for some of us who may deal with uh, water weight, uh, you know, weight in general and it's difficult for us to lose weight ultimately um, to be honest with you guys it just comes down to our eating and so learning how to have a good relationship with food um, will ultimately be the the best way to have a lifestyle not <clears throat> not a short-term goal um, when it comes to the car uh, I'm feeling much better I, I haven't looked for the glue I'll be looking for the glue to get those visors up and running um, I will eventually make it to the UN care so I can get a couple more pieces. Uh, I kind of start getting a little bit busier with work during the day, and so it's preventing me to to actually start doing car stuff till about 3 p.m. and and by 3 p.m. it's really hot and it, it just kind of adds up. But bringing me to my topic right now, man, um, sacrifice. It's it's crazy. Um, for the first time, I, I listened to uh, the podcast between Downstar Frank. Frank Downstar, down, Downtown with down, Downstar, and uh, his guest was Honda Pro Jason. And man, it was crazy. Um, if you guys get a chance, go and listen to it. Um, I, I do want you guys to be as open-minded as possible, and the reason why is, it's a, it's a one, the, there's been two. Not his latest one, um, but the, the, the older one. And here I am moving the camera, so you guys can get a little bit better look. <laughs> Um, so what's crazy was, obviously I like Honda Pro Jason, I love the way he reviews, I love his passion that he has for the Honda brand, I love the fact that he goes all over the place, you know, to different countries and, and brings us all these different, um, amazing, uh, experiences and, and different cars and builds all over the world and, uh, I think to date, to date, my, uh, my favorite one is, I want to say he was in Guatemala or Nicaragua, one of those two countries and... Man, that guy, whoever, you know, I guess he's a collector. He had a first generation CVCC white body. Um, uh, some type of, I think it was a Mugen white body. I'm not, I'm, uh, I can't remember, but it was a white body. And and I want to say he swapped in a B18 or a B16. But the point is, it's a pretty badass car. Um, and to this day, it was one of my uh, favorite videos. Um, side note. I'm in the next video. I'm gonna when I do the the foaming like this. I'm gonna show you guys the way all the dirt came down onto the ground. So this actually does work. Putting the soap and then kind of rinsing it, and then going back with the with the you know whatever you your brush or whatever you wash your car with. Um, so it's not just for the looks of it. I, although I really find it super satisfying seeing the the soap just kind of get the whole car um, turn white. I guess. And I, I really, uh, I really like the way it looks. It's just relaxing. But anyways, going back to the Honda Pro Jason thing, man. Like, so there's two podcasts, not the latest one, but you know they started off with, man, the first podcast was somewhat controversial, got a lot of attention, blah, blah blah. So knowing the person that I am, I'm like, wait a minute, let me listen to the first one before I listen to the second one. So I haven't listened to the second one, but I, I'll, I'll share my my thoughts on the first one. And so the whole idea, if you guys don't know, Honda Pro Jason, he goes and reviews and and. Um, interviews and shows us anything everything Honda if there's a car event uh, where Honda might be premiering something he's gonna be there anything Honda he's just um, he goes in and you know I don't know how to explain it he just shows off anything um, Honda related the point is this once he started talking about his routine and his you know day-to-day -day, Frank, who's a host, it it got tense. I'm not gonna lie, and and I'm not gonna say that I agree with one or the other, because ultimately you have the the right to live the way you want to live. The whole shebang is Honda Pro Jason's on the road, maybe five out of seven days. Um, he hardly ever gets to see his kids, and he was very honest. He says, when I'm at home, like his actual home, like I'm editing. And my, my kids are telling me like, hey, you haven't been home for the last, you know, week or whatever. Can you spend some time? And he's like, I feel like I'm not moving. I feel like I'm not, 
achieving. I feel like I need to be busy. I feel like I'm almost wasting my time, you know, hanging out with my kids. And so obviously that's not something that anybody um, is willing to say out loud. And I think to the to his defense, what he was saying, he says, you know, I'm Honda Pro Jason. I'm the number one Honda individual in the world. And I wouldn't be who I am if I wouldn't put myself through what I'm putting myself through. You know, the sacrifice that I made for my family and the sacrifices that I made for, for me. And obviously Frank... Frank was uh, able to share some of his um, his point of view, and, and one of the things that he said uh, that, that that was you know kind of resonated with me was you know what at the end of the day, Jason, if I die, like no one's gonna care. I don't I don't people will kind of move on type of thing, and and the sacrifice that you that you put yourself through, and the, and the time that you quote unquote lost with your your loved ones, that's never coming back. And so, is that really worth it? You know, and for Jason, it was, uh, yeah, it's worth it for me. It's, it's worth for me to continue growing. It's worth, with, you know, he also shared that he feels that his channel should be a little bigger. And I actually agree with that. <clears throat> I really, really agree because the things that he's doing, um, I can't think of many people that are doing it, <clears throat> excuse me, at that high level. But the thing is, with, with something that, I guess, I'm sure Jason understands um, is that fact that people are more into violence, drugs, sex, money, um, I guess randomness than actual education and actual footage that's like, whoa, well, this is pretty cool. Um, although 300 people might look at his um, Honda Pilot video, you know, his review, you know, 300,000 people are not going to tune in to see a, a JDM car show in malaysia you know it's it's an older individual who wanted to see a crv he got the information he needed he's gonna go purchase it or not and then he moves on he's not gonna subscribe to you and even if he subscribes to you he may not watch that first generation cvc uh civic because he's a 40 or 50 year old male who never cared about cars he just happens to want to get a honda and so he he came across your channel so that's a problem that you know the I see that a lot of us are sacrificing time away from our families, and um, it's it's it may not be the the best uh, way to go about it at times, but I feel that there has to be a balance. Obviously, um, if I share my honest opinion with what Jason and what Frank was saying, I was right in the middle. Um, I do think that you do have to do some sacrifices away from your family to be able to grow something. Um, out of more of an enemy wouldn't be where it is if I sat back and just kind of not reach out to people that didn't drive, you know, sometimes an hour plus to interview, then edit, and then, you know, uh, rinse and repeat type of thing. Haha, <laughs> no pun intended, I'm watching the car. The point is that, like, the point is, like, if you want to be comfortable, good, be comfortable. Like, if that's what makes you happy, but don't complain that the that whatever you're trying to grow is not growing, right? Um, at the same time, you also have to make some time for a family. Like, there's absolutely no way that I would trade uh, 500,000 views, let's say, for my channel, but I'm on, I'm on the road six times a six days a, a week. Like, hell no. Like, that's not that's not with something that it's in my DNA, and that's the thing. We're all different, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not saying Jason is right or wrong, but even for my my thing, um, I I've had this conversation with so many people I interview, and I thank you guys for for allowing me to interview you guys. But I always tell you guys like. I, I book one person on Saturday and one, one person on Sunday. And if, you know, I'm able to do it on a week, then cool. But I do it one, one person. Could I do more? Hell yeah. I can put somebody at 7 and then I'll, I'll be like, hey, man, I'll be there at 11. And then I'll go in, and do somebody at 11. Why do I not do that? You know, why, why wouldn't that be double the coverage, double the quote-unquote content? No, nah, man, like for me, it's about let me open up my Saturday morning, my Sunday morning for you specifically because you're making the time to get to know me. You're making the time to show us your build. I'm not doing anything for you. Like there's nothing that I would say I'm getting, um, you're getting out of. I'm getting a video and I'm getting to get to know you and I'm getting to see your car. That's a lot. So the least I can do is let me make some let me make myself available for him i don't I, the last thing i want is for somebody to be like hey man you want to have some coffee and be like oh no man i gotta go i gotta go book somebody else or i booked somebody else and i gotta go that's 
<clears throat> that's just not the the message that I want to be um, portraying. And the reason why is because, you know, I don't motivate motive enthusiasts talk to each other that's no no secret and if you get somebody who says yeah man Gus was cool but you know he was in a rush or he kept rushing me because he had to go you know had a different appointment then the other person is going to be like no nah, okay well then let me let me see if I can interview with him I interviewed him I pulled the same shit on them eventually people are going to be like dude that just that guy just like pressures you once a fucking video and, and, and dips and that's definitely not the, the message that I want to send. So I'm okay with producing less videos. I'm okay with quote unquote not gaining that many subscribers. Um, but allowing myself to be able to get to know somebody on a more personal level. And on top of that, um, you know, the channel will grow. It will grow. You know, it doesn't matter. I, I, I know, I'm not going to say channels, but I know some channels that are posting five to ten videos a week. And when I take a look at them, I'm like, the, not, not even the quality, because I'm not, I'm not into like, oh, it has to be cinematic. But I'm like, the message that you're showing, is, there's no value in it. So, if I took the time to watch one video and I felt like this video did not bring me any value, I'm not going to watch the rest of them. And that's the way, you know, some people would say, well, that's the same shit you're doing with your car and wash, uh, your wash and talk videos, or your driving and talk videos. That's very true. If that's something that you don't see value in, um, you know, well, I thank you for watching the, a minute that you saw, but I know that there's a lot of people out there that is bringing you value. So with that said, you know, um, by the end of this video, I already kind of calmed down a little bit more. And <laughs> so I'm feeling much better about myself, but I just wanted to say thank you guys. Um, I don't want to come as uh, negative, but I also want to be as transparent with you guys. Maybe BS if I come out every single video pretending like nothing's wrong. And I think a lot of people have that uh, that view, especially of quote unquote people that you know are on camera in front of you know actors and actresses. We always see them happy, we hardly ever see them have a breakdown. Um, and and they're human beings at the end of the day. They're human beings, and um, just just be nice to people. Be kind. You don't know what they're going through. Um, that applies to everybody and everything. Uh, you know, if you're in the road and somebody cuts you off, hey, you know, just kind of take a chill pill. You, you never know what they're going through. Um, if you're at work and then you go home and you take it, you take that anger with your kids, you know, just think about it. Think about it because it, 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 there's there's worse things in life. And so that's the reason why I wanted to share with you guys how I was complaining about nonsense. It's truly, truly nonsense. So I thank you guys so much for the support. I do apologize for the background music nonstop. You know how neighbors are, man. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll keep grinding. We'll keep working hard um, while sacrificing some stuff, but never the important things. And then one day we're gonna we're gonna accomplish this dream for Automotive Anatomy. Uh, for now, just want to say thank you guys, and um, I hope you guys have an amazing time, amazing day. Whenever you actually get to see this video, look at that paint. Looks nice. Still feels smooth, by the way. It needs to be cut and buff. Alrighty, so let's finish up the wheels now. I ended up, uh, I mentioned this already, but I already ended up buying some trimmer um, lubricant to make the, the OEM lips pop a little bit more. Um, I did it before I washed the car. Um, and then I'm gonna do it again right now. I don't know. I guess it, uh, it gives me something to do. I love the way my brother uh, polished his wheels. They're beautiful. He did the inner barrels and everything, so he did it right. I feel bad that we haven't been able to put him on his car. You know priorities take over and we haven't been able to find his coilovers. Well, to find them they're easy. Purchase them, that's a different story. I think it would go perfectly in his CG. We're gonna make that happen very soon. But yeah, like I said, I'm telling you guys, you know, um, just watching the car changed my whole mood. 
Uh, I do apologize for coming out very hostile and angry in the, at the beginning of the clip, uh, the, the video. It just, you get caught up in your, in your head for whatever reason. And so like, you know what, let me, let me wash my car, do something that gives me, uh, you know, just calm, calmness and then we, then we can execute on everything else. Um, so I feel much, 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 much better. And a simple, you know, cleaning my car help. Um, it's funny. Now I remember. Today's a ten. Today's budget day. So that's some, something else. Right now we're gonna do right now, and uh, it's gonna make me feel like I'm again control of my finances, control of my decisions, control of my future. So yeah, today I get allowance. It's cool. These will need need some nice polishing. It's looking good though. Wrong. <laughs> 